Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to motion track 3D particles and create smoke with them and how to motion track optical flares. It's quite easy to do if you know how to motion track. If you don't yet, then be sure to check out my motion tracking tutorial. And this is what we're going to be creating. As you can see, we have some pretty nice 3D smoke which is tracked to the scene. We have a flare in the background which is also sticking to the scene and yeah. Um, first of all, motion track is cinematic and if you don't know how to do that, um, check out the tutorial on the screen right now. And then come back to this one and I'll show you what we're going to do now. So first of all, let me just disable all these layers. I'm actually going to delete them. So what we have now is our motion track scene. Um, you're going to make sure if you want to add particles and smoke, there's you got to do something different than if you w just want to add a flare. I'll sh first of all, show you how to... Um, now I'll show you how to composite the whole thing, smoke and flares. Because otherwise, if you just want to track a flare, you can just select one of the points, create a null object, and then set the um, mode of the flare to 3D, but I'll show that to you later. But I chose a uh, rather centered null, uh, null object for the center of the scene. To create that, just um, click on any point, uh, then con control click it again, go to ground plate, set origin, and that's going to put your center of the scene there. I'll leave it there for now, which is because it's really in the center of the scene, and that's the best if you want to add smoke here. So, um, first of all, I'm going to show you how to create the smoke. So, what you're going to do for that is um, download the file in the description, or just get any other smoke picture which doesn't reach the end because otherwise this is going to this is going to be a particle. We're going to use particular to create those particles and to basically have many of those pictures. So what you can do now is um, you could add some turbulent displacement if you want to make it like seem a bit more like it's moving and then just play around with the settings but I'm not going to show that to you now because I'm sure you'll figure that out. Then just create a new white solid and like that and drag it below the large smoke picture then set the <coughs> set this to uh, luma mat so we actually have some transparency going on as you can see now you won't really see the smoke but yeah otherwise you would just have a black background in the particle and that would look shit by the way i've learned this technique from videocopilot.com so props to andrew kramer i guess and yeah i'm just showing you guys this technique because it's pretty easy and looks quite cool so what we're going to do now is create a new black solid oh, it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be black and let's name this particles then put the trap code particular effect on there um, so what we have now is some particles tracked to that very point which is exactly what we want but we want um, them to be all over the screen so for that now first of all we, we don't want the particles to generate as the um, clip starts because the smoke we don't want the smoke to just appear because that wouldn't look too, wouldn't look too cool so what we're going to do now is um, bring up the particles per second then keyframe that and bring it to zero and then just bring that to the very start of our composition so that way we wouldn't have any more particles emitting from that point on so the next thing we're going to do is change the emitter type from point to box or sphere whatever you want just a 3D object, I guess. And we're gonna move this whole thing to the right a bit and then bring up the emitter size in X, Y, and Z, depending on where you want your smoke to be. Well, that rhymed, holy shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this looks quite cool in my opinion. The next thing we're gonna do is bring down the velocity to. Uh, zero and the velocity randomness to zero so they just stick there and we basically fly through them yeah this won't look too cool because um, as you can see those particles here are, would actually be behind the container so you have to like try and fix that with masks or some stuff like that if you want to know how to mask I also have a tutorial for that of course but yeah so then the next thing we're gonna do is go into the particle settings go to the particle type and change it from sphere to um, cloud, I believe. Nope, that's not the right one. Um, <clears throat> I think it was textured polygon or something. Sorry, I already recorded this tutorial a while ago, but then I had to redo it, so yeah. 
So what we're going to do now is bring in the large smoke composition we have with the uh, alpha map. Um, so as you can see now we have an invisible background and not just the picture like that. So that's exactly what we want. And then in the particles um, options we're going <coughs> to for the layer we're going to select the large smoke layer. This might give you a warning but just ignore that or you can bring down the size of the large thing, uh, light, large smoke a bit because it appears to be quite long run at times sometimes but that should be alright. So let's disable the large smoke layer and play around with these settings. So actually I want a lot of more particles, that's not really why, um, the amount of particles I wanted. So I'm just going to go to the keyframe before we put it down to zero and just increase that and that way we'll have a lot of more particles so that might be a bit too much 1000 actually let's just put it to 500 for now to just show you how to do this um, the next thing we're going to do is increase the lifespan so they don't just pop off at some point because that's not what we want and then we're going to bring up the size by quite a bit also the size randomness <coughs> and the uh, opacity randomness and maybe the overall opacity if that's what you want if you don't want that much visibility of the smoke so then you can play around with the placement of those particles maybe put them like wherever you think it looks cool I would say have them like this and as you can see now we have some nicely tracked 3D smoke this doesn't look too nice um, you can always go in there and play around with the settings make it look more random so um, another thing you should do is go to the visibility and increase the um, the far vanish and actually the near vanish fades so that way as you can see some of the particles are already like disappearing so like the closer you get to the particles they will just um, slowly fade out and not just pop off when the camera hits them because that's not we want what we want um, and there's a, another thing you could do is um, go to the rotation tab and play around with that and increase the random rotation so they are a bit okay maybe not in Z space so um, I don't know where to actually just change the Z rotation randomly right now I'm sorry for that, but I'm sure there's an option because that was last time I recorded this tutorial. But yeah, this is pretty much what you gotta do for the smoke. Just play around with the settings. As you can see, some of them don't look that good yet. You can play around with the amount, with the emitter size, like just play around with everything. You can do some really cool things with this. So now we just have smoke on the right that might look a bit better and don't have it that big like in X space so that way we have a lot of more smoke I'm now I'm going to show you how to motion track the flare which is quite easy as well this time we need a black um, solid layer let's name this flare and add the effect optical flares there we go I could also use no light factory or whatever you want to use <coughs> now set the transfer mode to add a screen I prefer add and now we're gonna do something so if you just want to add a flare the fastest thing is like if you wouldn't have the smoke let me just delete that um, you could just go into the camera tracker and just select the point at the very far back and put that to your origin just like that and then just go to the flare settings and put the source type to 3d and that way you already have it perfectly tracked to that point as you can see now as I scrub through this flare is tracked you could also put it like maybe on there if we have a tracking point on that thing yeah we do so let's just put the origin there now it's a lot closer to the camera so we probably yeah probably have to decrease all of this a bit more and sometimes you gotta replace it to the exact point as you can see now, this trace, uh, flare is also perfectly tracked. So, um, but if you do have smoke and want to add a flare, and then want to render it out and then do it all over again, you can just go into the camera tracker um, effects tab and just 
create a null, simply create a um, do the same thing and create a null object back there. So that way you can press P for position and find out the, the position of that very point. And then you can just um, go into your flare settings, put it to 3D. As you can see now, it would be um, tracked to this very point here, as you can see. But we want it to be quite far back in Z space. So I'm just going to copy and paste that there. Then X and so on and that way we're gonna increase the brightness of scale a bit more again because it's that far back and then just adjust it a bit more in X and Y wherever you want it to be but don't play around too much with the Z positioning and that way we've got this flare tracked as well so that is pretty much it for this tutorial um, please leave a rating if this helped you I haven't really seen a tutorial on these effects before so yeah, I thought I could make a tutorial. Another thing I wanted to do is um, ask you guys if you want the. Okay, this looks shit, I know. <laughs> if you guys want an HUD graphics pack or something like that, I just play around a little bit in After Effects yesterday and create this. And yeah, if you guys want me to create, create more of that kind of stuff and maybe release a graphics pack or something like that for After Effects for your projects, then just leave a rating and write that in the comments. So. Thanks you very much for watching and yeah that's it for now bye